Hi, my name is Elise Berodier, and uh, this story is what I came up with to present my PhD work. For a lot of people, concrete reminds us of sprawling cities and pollution. To me, it's the opposite. When I think of concrete, I see a large field of flowers. Flowers, you ask? When we mix concrete, we only use aggregate, cement, and water. There are not any flowers involved in this mix, you say. Well, let me tell you a story. When cement meets for the first time water, it's love at first touch. Cement completely dissolves into her. As the union solidifies, flowers are born, like this one. Individually, they look very small and delicate. But if you are comfortable walking into a tall building or crossing a highway bridge, you already trust and rely on these flowers. By growing and locking together, they became a very strong and incredible network. These flowers are the structural performance of concrete. Unfortunately, in our modern era, this beautiful love story is compromised. Why, you ask? Well, it's a little embarrassing, but Simon has some gas trouble. To elaborate, he has some problem with carbon dioxide. Concrete can't take a pill to control its gas. So what do we do? We could simply reduce or stop cement production. But this would mean that we wouldn't be able to build the infrastructure that humanity has come to rely on. So no more tall building, bridges, and so many other things. Crazy, right? We might as well go back to the Stone Ages. Another alternative, which is more realistic, is to find a substitute of cement. That means alternative material that can form flowers. The trick is finding a material that can form flowers is, is not that easy. Don't give a hope. Scientists have been thinking about this question for a while now, and they have made amazing discoveries. Calcine clay, ashes, or even byproduct from industry can form flowers. As a material engineer, I get to play the role of Cupid, bringing cement, water, and these greener materials together. I study their interaction. The problem is, love is a tricky business, and not every relationship can make strong flowers and so strong concrete. But no need to worry, I have great news. The combination of three or more of this greener material leads to even better flowers than in plain cement. So next time you are next to some concrete, I encourage you to reach out and touch this cool gray wonder and feel how strong the flower power of concrete is. Thank you. Les unions à trois, voire parfois à quatre, sont très puissantes. Tous ces, toutes ces nouvelles petites fleurs sont beaucoup plus résistantes que celles du ciment. Alors pour terminer, je voudrais juste vous dire, la prochaine fois que vous voyez un mur en béton, posez votre main dessus et sentez le pouvoir de ces petites fleurs.